Hello everyone, Jacolo here. With the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword banned, the Union Carrier had fallen from grace and people stopped using it. Understandable, considering there are 4 cards that can prevent summons from the extra deck and 2 of those have a continuous effect. But that's beside the point. There are a few cards that I think might be interesting targets for a play with Union Carrier. Let's look into those. First is Robot Buster Destruction Sword. Dragon Buster's older brother. This fella is, in my extremely biased opinion, one of the better targets for Union Carrier, at least currently. Why would that be? It prevents activation of spells and trap effects. The downside is that those cards have to be already face up on the field. Like a continuous trap? The thing that I think is the most valuable when it comes to it is its typing. It's a machine. Meaning that there's no need to play any specific monsters or a specific deck since Union Carrier is a valid target. Of course, Robot Buster's usage is extremely format dependent, but for now I think it might find its place somewhere. Wizard Buster's Destruction Sword is another of Dragon Buster's Onichans. This one hits a wider variety of decks than the card we just discussed previously, since it prevents activation of monster effects in the graveyard. It definitely helps with all of them floating effects as well as milling, since BA and Unchained are a thing. Being a spellcaster is a bit more detrimental than the machine, but it's still a dark attribute, giving a variety of options to choose. Lang Lang is a dark dragon monster, so you know it's going to fit a few decks instantly. Its ability to have the equipped monsters attack twice is very nice. However, the big but is the fact it makes the equipped monsters original attack 1000. Still an option though, like a dragon. And this one has an ability to mill a card upon attacking, and it will replace itself with a draw upon destruction. It's rather neat, especially since the mill is a point mill. It doesn't mill a card from the top of the deck, it mills a specific monster you desire. Simulator Ken is another dark dragon. What if all those dark dragons? Anyway, this one is a bit different from Cannon though. Upon battle, it can send a card directly from the extra deck to the graveyard. Pretty much it's Dogmatica before Dogmatica. Upon destruction, it recycles a cyber dark monster from the graveyard, which is not that important. Still, it gives the deck access to additional toolbox. And the final card I would like to talk about here is Torque Tune Gear. This machine light Tune a monster has the ability to change a monster on the field into a tuner. It's not a very impressive effect until you're reminded that Hulk B Fibrex is a thing and it requires a tuner, meaning that you can change a monster into a part of a Hulk B Fibrex combo. You can even make a tuner link monster with it or a tuner exceeds monster. It's still an invalid material for a synchronous summon, which is kind of a bummer, but it's still a thing that you can do. This concludes the surface level card research regarding possible Union Carrier targets. I specifically didn't touch on some of the most obvious ones like ABCs or this video would have been a few hours long. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, remember to like, subscribe and comment since I probably missed a card or a few. And with that out of the way, I'll see you all tomorrow on a Yu-Gi-Oh stream where I'll try and get four decks. Jacolo signing out. Peace!